Guess what? What? <laughs> we didn't realize that we have 30 minutes before Christmas, pretty much. Basically. We got stuff to do. So tonight... We've been relaxing on vacation. <laughs> Christmas is in like four seconds. Yes. We have a bunch of errands to run tonight. Yes. Come along! We are here to exchange a Christmas outfit because we bought it when we thought Dave was going to be really big. It wasn't it. Big. <laughs> no. So we need the right size. Fingers and crossed they have the right size. Three potentially, days right. And potentially Christmas cards from Macy's. Okay, so we already went to Janie and Jack. It was a success. And Sarah's wearing a Chicago van. And the worker yeah. was like, wait, are those Chicago flag themed vans? Like, uh -huh. Yeah, he's from the north side. Yeah, and then he, he asked if we were from north side, south side. I said south side. He's like, but I see you're a Cubs fan. So it's like a little bit of Chicago love. But we got an outfit fixed, fixed and everything. Yes. Got new shoes, new yeah. sweater. We like, have a backup outfit even. Backup outfit. And we were able to exchange it for a decent amount. It worked out great. We only lost like 10 bucks, I think. Yes. We don't know if there will be um, Christmas cards here, but it's worth a shot. So the Macy's here was a mess. They really don't have a Christmas section at all, let alone Christmas cards. But we did go into H&M and there was a lot of cute stuff for James for Christmas from us. He started a stir, so I took him out here, but he's asleep again. But that was unexpectedly successful. Well, we just went through like 30 minutes of mom lane of traffic, trying to maneuver it. <laughs> but we're at McDonald's. We picked up a quick McDonald's dinner because tonight's the night of time sensitive errands. James is having a little snack in the back seat. We got food on food on food. After we eat, a quick trip into Ikea for some gifts. Um, we also got way more McDonald's than we need to because of a McDonald's app deal, $7 off 20. So, so sorry we're not sorry. We got french fries, whole pops. We got McDoubles, McChickens, Double Quarter Pounders, Chicken Nuggets. It's a bit excessive. Alrighty, our next stop is Ikea. This one's gonna be super fast. As quick as we're in, we're out. Okay, our last stop is Target. When you wait until the last minute to get gift wrap, you succeed. Yeah. So we're optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I first saw that and was like, what? But then there was, there's plenty. There's plenty. Christmas is ruined. Oh no. Over. Wait, we need some of that wrap actually. Now I see that stacks on stacks on stacks of gift wrap. Yes. Tissue paper, I mean. Oh, do we need that? I, we need to wrap I'm each not other even done gifts. shopping with for you. Sarah doesn't know yet, but all she's getting for Christmas is a bunch of Cars, Hot Wheels. I want one of these cars. We're still at Target. The, baby. the baby's asleep, and we have lots of stuff. And I didn't realize we needed all this stuff. And you can't see everything, but we're gonna show you a lot of it. Hi, Evie. <laughs> You've been so fun since we've been home. She gets all excited when we bring in bags and bags and whatnot, and then we like take her outside. We had to take a second trip to the car. And so she got to go out there. So she's all sorts of jazzed right now. Um, but as far as what we got tonight, I know we're going to want to show a lot of it on Christmas because a lot of it is gifts. Um, but there are a couple of things we can show you. Here are our wrapping supplies that we bought. It all goes nice together. It's so weird because a lot of the stuff that we bought for people back home, we just had shipped directly from wherever it was from. So we really didn't need a lot of wrapping stuff this year. So just some bows, tags, and that. So that'll be between the three of ours, our gifts. And then these supplies, very unexpected, very not so plant-based, not plant-based at all. 
actually the Dijon mustard is plant-based so there and no supplies were purchased because of a little something that showed up at our door today that we did not expect what oh my gosh so tell the story of the panini press that arrived on our doorstep today i was working sarah was taking care of our baby the doorbell rings we bring a box in we don't look at it for hours because we had other stuff. We were busy, and we right. just expected it was one of our gifts to each other kind of thing. Look at it later. And finally, we realized, like, let's open this bad boy up. And I'm like, wait, what? And it, was, it was addressed to me. Yeah, which means I can't open it yeah. right now because we have the same Amazon account. So we're like ordering things and just not checking on them. And then if it, if it gets sent to Sarah, I can't open it. And if it gets sent to me, she can't open it. So it arrives in this big old box, heavy. Sarah pills up this like. I assumed it was just like multiple gifts in a box. Yeah. But then it was like one in a gift bag. And I was like, well, oh, but usually those have a card on it. What is that card? And it was from our friends, the Earhearts. Who knew how bad we wanted a panini press. We recently talked about it in a vlog. They picked up on it. We didn't I, ask for it from anyone else. I or... haven't talked about it enough in my life, but I've actually have wanted a panini press in my life. To me, like that's making it. Like to me, being a civilized functioning human being in like stereotypical society, Mm -hmm. is owning a panini press to me over like owning a house and it like also is like got a griddle and a grill yeah. and we can use it for so many other things and so peter's dreaming up a sandwich so pretty much i'm ready to retire like <laughs> just so and we did not know they were sending us anything for christmas we didn't know it was coming i was and then like i had a really hard time opening the gift packaging and I was like, I peeked inside. I was like, Peter, you're not going to believe it. And it took only like five minutes to open it because Sarah's bad with locks or things that disable you from entry. Yeah, so I just used scissors and cut it open. And here's James' new Christmas outfit. I honestly like it better than the it's other one. Oh, brush. It's just like way more unique than a Christmas colored shirt and sweater. I love it. And we got him shoes. He looks and like he's going to have a Jordy accent right now. And the shoes cost more than this. Because they were both on sale, but that was on sale for more. Then we also got him this little shirt, just in case. You know, you know, sometimes babies just need some outfit changes. So he would just wear this with like overalls or jeans or something cute. We're going out to dinner for the, f oh no, not the first time. The last time we went out to dinner on Christmas Day was the college program. We're trying to go out to well, we're yeah. going to go out to dinner on Christmas Day, but we're trying to go to a fancy place. But yeah, but we'll see. There's no reservation, so we're going to try to do walk-up list. Yeah, but when we lived here in 2011, wait, when we lived here in 2011, we went to Cape May Cafe. With oh, it the was. Carl's yeah, I was thinking it was uh, Acker, Acker House, but that was Thanksgiving. No, that was Beer Garden. Beer Garden, that's what I meant. I always think Acker House is Beer Garden. This sleepy kid is napping in the vlog. I don't think at all. He's gonna have a late night bath. He's been hanging out with his dad who is back to work after a staycation, having some serious withdrawal. I have been organizing, putting stuff away, basically getting the apartment ready to be clean, like getting rid of the clutter so that when we go to do cleaning tomorrow, it's easy peasy. We actually have a visitor coming and we're really excited about it. And I just gotta make sure 100% that we can tell you who it is and then um, we'll tell you. But obviously we would clean for Christmas, have a nice fresh apartment for the holiday, but just a little bit extra cleaning to be done because the nursery is actually going to be used as a guest room for the first time. Yeah, for the first time. I got the bathtub all situated. I am excited because soon James will be big enough to have a bath in the actual bathtub. Probably still in this little contraption, but just not on the counter in the sink. And he's getting some bath toys for Christmas. Shh, don't tell him. I love these. All right, December 22nd. Christmas is so close. December 22nd, by Anonymous. Look, look famous, be legendary, appear complex, act easy, radiant presence, travel light, seem a dream, prove real. 
That is the weirdest one we've read ever in the two years, but I love it. We kind of have another busy day tomorrow. Yep, we do. But it'll all be worth it. We hope you guys are having a good week. Getting ready for Christmas yeah. or the holidays. Mm -hmm. Whatever you celebrate. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.